Hello everyone, what's up? It's me again, Junk Monster 3. And uh, what do you know? I'm back with another uh, horror review video. I know I promised you one of those in my latest uh, trauma collection overview video, or whatever. Uh, and I also have to point out, of course, I was so stupid and so uh, incredibly, um, yeah, stupid in general because I just forgot about like a bunch of, a bunch of, but at least a couple of Blu-rays of trauma films that I had that I didn't even show in the collection, but. Yeah, that's how it goes sometimes, but now that aside, it's time for the review video for this film. Uh, and the film that I'm going to make a review of today is the film called Cellar Dweller. Uh, really nice looking cover art as well, with like the hand coming out right there. Uh, released by 101 Films. Uh, if you've seen this for sale in the US, you've probably most, most likely seen it for sale in like a four pack that I think Shout Factory, Scream Factory released a couple of years ago. Um, but yeah, I, I have that release as well. But anyway, now to the film itself. Now this film is directed by John, um, what's his name? John Buechler, John Buechler. Uh, he's most known for his, uh, special effects basically. And he was also the guy who directed Friday the 13th part seven. So that's a little interesting fact right there. But the film is basically about, we start the film off with, uh, Jeffrey Combs character. He's like a cartoonist or like comic book type guy uh, that designs like creatures and stuff and uh, well then he just all of a sudden the creatures or like the creature that he creates in his uh, sketches and stuff they he that that monster gets alive basically and he has to um, he has to pretty much burn the pages of the um, of the illustrations of the monster just to kill it off basically so he accidentally uh, kills himself in the uh, because it's just the entire thing is just up in flames basically so he pretty much uh, uh, gets killed in the fire uh, and then we cut to like 30 I think it's 30 or 20 years later uh, and it's the same place that they uh, go back to again and for some reason the house survived um, and it's a really strange thing as well because this is like the place where uh, this new character comes in, uh, the lead character, the female lead in this character, the female lead in this film, that's what I wanted to say. Uh, and the character's name is Whitney Taylor. So she's there for inspira inspiration because she's a big fan of the Cellar Dweller comic book that Jeffrey Combs' character were, were responsible for creating. Uh, so she pretty much wants to make her own little sketches and stuff and then she decides to uh, go into this room where Jeffrey Combs eventually got killed off in the beginning of the film uh, and then uh, she also starts to write uh, or like um, or sketches of the monster and it comes to life again so it's up to her and her friends in this little facility to uh, kill off the monster basically um, because these are there's other, also other characters in this house which is it's really strange as well because it seems like the house is located in the middle of nowhere but they still say it's some sort of like place for inspirations and stuff because there's one video videographer I believe it's called and there's also a I think it's he's like some sort of author as well that is in this house and uh, Yvonne de Car Yvonne de Car what's her name Yvonne de Carlo she is sort of like the uh, the uh, housekeeper or whatever like she owns this house basically so. Um, yeah, that's pretty much about it. So, I mean, it really comes down to the fact that they need to fight off this monster and try to survive and figure out how to uh, kill it off, basically. So, that aside, I'm not going to say anything more about the storyline because I don't want to spoil it for you. Um, so, what did I think of the film? Overall, I think this film was really great and you can definitely tell that John Buechler was a big uh, name in the special effects um, category because... The special effects or the creature effects in this film is really amazing and really great. That is really the highlight of the film. And um, I also really liked most of the characters. And the, the the characters that you are not meant to like, you don't like. So, I mean, they did succeed with that aspect as well of the film. And uh, the, the major issue I have with the film, there's two things that I just didn't care too much for. And it is, even though it only runs for 77 minutes, at least according to back of this DVD... Uh, it tends to, I mean, the pacing is a little bit, a little bit dull in the mid section of the film, where it just feels like you're just wandering around the house and doesn't really too, do too much. And 
yeah, that's that's a major issue with the film. And also, I thought the very end felt like it's one of those films that just felt like, oh, we need a twist ending for this. And for my for my my personal taste, I would have been much more fine without the twist ending. Uh, if you've seen the film, you probably know what I'm talking about. But uh, acting overall is good. I like the female lead. I liked her um, love interest, if that if you want to call him that. I liked him as well, even though in the first like. In his first appearance, the the love character, the love character, the the love interest of the female lead, he tends to be a little bit annoying, but he really grows on you throughout the entire film, and uh, yeah, I really like the characters. The acting is good, and uh, also I would also say that there's a big lack of Jeffrey Combs because it felt like he was this was like a paycheck for him, and he just showed up in the beginning, and that's it. Um, so I mean. Don't watch this and expect Jeffrey Combs to have any major, like, bigger role because he's a very, very small part just in the beginning of the film, basically. So, uh, and like I said before, blood and gore effects are really top notch. That's really the, the biggest, the greatest thing about this film uh, and the creature effects and whatnot. So, um, yeah, I'm not really sure what else to say about it. So, I mean, if you like creature features from the 80s in general, definitely check this one out, but don't expect the best one. Uh, I mean, watch it for. For the practical effects and the makeup effects, that's those are really good in this film. So, uh, my final rating for this film is going to be six out of ten. Uh, I just wish there were more creature action in the uh, sections of the film, which just felt like it dragged along a little too long. So, uh, that's really one of the, you know, the biggest issue of the film that I had. That's pretty much it. And then the in ending, which I didn't like at all. So, uh, but anyway, Cellar Dweller, check it out if you like creature features. That's what I want to say. So yeah, six out of ten. That's my review for Cellar Dweller. Uh, who knows, maybe I'll make another horror review video uh, in time soon. We'll see how that goes, or maybe another top ten list. Well, you have to keep your eyes open for the next video for that. So uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed, and uh, yeah, take care, and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.